the session yesterday after Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein told President Trump he's not a target in Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. Those reports move in the market. Uh, also telling the president he's not going to be looked at it with, with regards to the inquiry into his personal attorney, Michael Cohen. Let's bring in Melissa Armo, StockSwish.com, and Sean Cruz, manager of Trader Strategy at TD Ameritrade. Guys, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good, good. Melissa, I want to start with you on this. This appears to be the first time that the Mueller probe has actually had an impact on markets. How important was this news, do you think? Well, I think the markets are still lower. We're lower this morning. It had a little impact. We just kind of rallied into the close. Overall, though, it was surprising news, I'd say, for the market. Maybe that's why I did have any reaction at all, because for the last year since they've had this investigating going, everyone thought that Trump was a target. So the good news there, Sean, I mean, is that the, the reaction that you saw as well? Yeah, I think so. I think there's a, there's that obviously a lot of headlines that are driving this market. Uh, a lot of it's been focused around tariffs lately. I think it's going to shift into earnings here as we make our way into earnings season. But certainly a lot of uncertainty around this probe has been something that's been a little bit of an overhang for markets. So it makes sense you'd see them uh, get a little bit of a relief rally off that news. Yeah, it's interesting. All right. I'm glad you brought up earnings. I want to talk to both of you about General Electric. I mean, obviously, this is uh, this could be the mangiest dog on the Dow. We're going to get the numbers this morning. Of course, they. I mean, it's pretty. I mean, the dividend's been lowered. They've divested uh, so much of the business. Not, not a lot left. To be uh, honestly, G Capital kind of. You know, all those assets are gone. So, Melissa, what are you expecting from GE? Because maybe at this point, 14 bucks a share. I've seen analyst reports the valuation's more like 10. Do you think there might be a buying opportunity today in GE? There's no way that I see this as a buying opportunity, even if it gaps up, unless it wants to double in price this morning into the opening, go up to 30 bucks a share. GE is in a strong, strong downtrend. GE looks horrible as far as the stock goes. It is so beaten up. It is dragging so many things down with it. it, it it's not that it can never turn around, but do I think it turns around on one earnings report? Absolutely not. I don't see any way this is a buy. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if it gaps down this morning and then the market continues to fall this morning, too. That's interesting. Sean, do you have the same take that Melissa does? I think they do have a lot of things that they need to work through. I'm really going to be looking into what uh, happens with their power unit. Uh, I think right now some investors are maybe seeing this as a little bit of an opportunity to cautiously start accumulating a position in here, but right. I certainly don't think this stock is out of the woods yet, so I wouldn't go in buying with both hands here, but maybe start thinking about uh, you know if this is starting to get to be an entry point, but it's certainly not a stock you want to try and pick the bottom in, because if you've been trying to pick the bottom in GE since you know yeah. it started pulling back to 20 Six. A fall of a, a great American company, I got to tell you, at least from yep. a stock perspective. Real quick, Melissa, Wells Fargo, let's talk about this billion dollar settlement uh, on risk management. Uh, this coming down, another hit for the bank. Forget the, the, the fake account scandal. This seems to be a, the biggest financial hit that they've taken. The hits just keep on coming for Wells Fargo. They had earnings a week ago last Friday. They gapped out on the earnings. They fell. I don't know what happens at the stock this morning in the pre-market. It's too early, but they probably fall on this news, too. Another financial concern. But I tell you, the interesting thing is Trump is finding them, the Trump, uh, they're finding yeah. them, the Consumer Protection Agency, and they're finding them $1 billion. So this is a big, big fine for a bank. And banks right. have taken a hit overall in the last week. They've gapped up even the good ones. Goldman on earnings earlier this week, and they fell. So all these banks are taking hits. And it's interesting to see what happens here going forward because it's a sign of the times they're going to find these banks if they right. don't do things right. Well, that's interesting. You're right. From, from the Trump administration, maybe that is a bit of a surprise. But, Sean, i got to tell you, I mean, improper charges to consumers in the mortgage and the auto lending business, mortgage lending is the bread and butter of Wells Fargo. Yeah, I think this is this is a name that if, you, if you're looking into the financial sector, you want to be cautious of. There's, there's plenty of other names out there. If you do want exposure to financials, you can look at your Bank of America, Citigroup, Gold. Goldman Sachs. You might want to look at one of those, but if you're, unless you're going to think about going into something like Wells Fargo that definitely has a lot of headwinds coming out. The this is just another one. Billion dollar headwind. Melissa, Sean, guys, thanks so much for getting up with us. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank Have a good day. You too. Coming up, would you buy a bottle of tequila from this guy? Hmm.